Hey, 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 my Coffee with Brenna friends. Grab your beverage. Grab your Bible. It's time for Coffee with Brenna. I was talking with my husband last week, and somehow the topic of Coffee with Brenna came up, and I realized it's been more than two years since we started sitting down and grabbing a beverage together and hanging out. My first Coffee with Brenna was November 15th, 2019. It's dated wrong for some reason on my YouTube channel, but I went back and looked it up as to when I posted it on social media, and it was less than five minutes long. It was called You Are God's Favorite. I'm pretty sure I was wearing a sweatshirt over my pajamas (laughs) because back then on Fridays, my husband had a job that he had to be at really early. He had to be there at 6 a.m., so he got up at like 4.30, and I was sitting around thinking, what could I do? And so I recorded a coffee with Brenna. Now, actually, there was one before that that I recorded for someone else that was meant to be a series. And for some reasons I don't need to get into right now, that didn't happen. But after that first coffee with Brenna, I thought, let's just do this. And it's kind of interesting because years ago, starting in 2010, I had a series on my blog called Freedom Fridays. Because, you know, I have a book called Learn to Walk in Freedom. And that lasted, I I posted every Friday for over two years straight until my father died. And then for a while, I posted like every two weeks. And then I posted a little more sporadically. I also had Monday morning meditations and Worshipful Wednesdays. But Friday, Freedom Fridays, was the most consistent thing. In fact, I thought of rebranding this and calling it Freedom Fridays to go with my theme on my blog, which is still active, livingunveiled.com. And I was looking, I was just kind of scrolling through as I was preparing for this episode, and there's some good topics there, things that I need to read again, and things that I could share with you. So I was pretty excited to be reminded of some of the things I had shared there. I don't have a succinct topic to share with you today. I keep having a little girl coming in to interrupt me, so I better, better get this done. But as I took a deep breath and said a prayer, I was just reminded of my life verse. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. That's Psalm 3410. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Why am I thinking about that verse? I believe that verse popped into my heart because... Here we are, week after week, seeking the Lord together, all 20-something of us. (laughs) I try not to look at numbers, but sometimes it's hard not to because actually making these videos is a lot of work. Just like it was a lot of work to write those Freedom Fridays and to come up with topics week after week. It's a lot of work to make these videos Almost every time I edit them, unless I'm super short on time, and then I try and do it without editing them. In the beginning, I didn't edit them because I didn't know how. Now I know how very, very rudimentarily, in a very rudimentary way, I do know how to edit the videos. But here we are, seeking the Lord week after week. And you know what? It says the Lord rewards those who diligently seek him. That's Hebrews 11.6, or my paraphrase of Hebrews 11.6. And as we seek the Lord together, as we go through series like I like we did with the Lasting Victory series, the God is Calling Us series, we've talked about how to process loss, we've talked about dealing with hopelessness, we've talked about God's love, we've talked about sharing our stories, we've talked about thanking those who have influenced us, and this is a great time to do that. Pause the video, grab your phone, send somebody a text message or an email or give somebody a call to tell them thank you for the impact you've had on my life. This past week at church, I had the opportunity to close the service. It was the third Sunday of our mission summit. And I was just thinking about all the people who impacted me on my journey toward Christ accepting him as my savior, and now my journey of learning to walk in freedom. And I gave three people a shout out from the platform of the church. And then I told them on Facebook that I gave them a shout out from the platform of the church. 
that's a side note. But here we are, two years into Coffee with Brenna. I know I have faithful watchers every week. I know I have sporadic watchers. I even have binge watchers. And I am privileged, truly privileged, to share life with you, to share hope with you, to share my struggles with you. God has called me to a ministry of transparency. I know I've said that to you before. I think I've meant to actually do a video on that. God calls us all to different focuses in our ministry, and it's not always easy. I think I shared with you that I spoke at a very conservative conference a few weeks ago, maybe a month now, and I actually had trouble getting my testimony to come out of my mouth because as I've shared with friends before when I've told them parts of my story, sometimes the truth really is stranger than fiction. I'm not proud of the things I have done. I shouldn't say that with a smirk on my face. Some of the things are funny, but much of it is extremely sinful and also points to the complete... <laughs> points to the level of brokenness I had in my life to to engage in those things and or to allow those things to happen or be done to me. Now, you could read a lot into that. Please don't read anything into that. There were situations where I was taken advantage of. I'm not saying that those things were my fault. But some of those situations I didn't flee. I didn't leave when I could have or should have because I was so desperate for love. I was so desperate for what I saw to be good things. But you know what? Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. And I'm trusting you as we continue to journey with our weekly videos together, our weekly beverages, our weekly beverage and Bible times, that God will reward us as we seek him, that he won't withhold good things from us, because he's a good father who doesn't give his kids stones when they ask for bread. And so today I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching every week. Thank you for watching sporadically. Thank you for binge watching, whatever it may be, whatever your style is. I'm so glad you're here. And thank you for allowing me to try and fumble my way through encouraging your heart. Two years now, who knows how long this will continue. And I was just remembering today, I went to a writer's conference like probably three years ago, maybe a little bit more than that. And the woman who reviewed my book, which will probably end up being my fourth book project now because I already am part of a project that's in the work to be published next year. Lessons from Joshua should be published next year. And then dun, 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 my next project after that is still a secret. But she reviewed part of my book to give me feedback. And she asked if I had considered making videos. I literally did not even think of that until right now as I was preparing for this. And now I have two years of videos, probably not as short as some would prefer, but they're getting better. I'm getting better at keeping them a little shorter. Some of them used to be like 20 minutes. So working on it, folks. But again, I just keep telling you I'm grateful, but I am grateful this Thanksgiving season. We're going to go into an Advent devotional series. We're going to start next week with talking about waiting with expectation. We're going to talk about how God gave his only we're going to talk about just a handful of things because there will be only a few Fridays. I think five. I'm looking at the November calendar like it's going to help me figure out how many Fridays there are in Advent. But Advent, this period of waiting with expectation, starts the Sunday after this video will release. And so we will start talking about it. Actually, so I think that's going to be four Fridays. We will talk about Jesus Emmanuel, God with us. But for now, let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much for enabling me to record two years of videos, for giving me 
strength and sustenance, even through having COVID at this time last year, Lord God, I think I was diagnosed on the 24th of last year. But even through that, you helped me to continue the God is Calling Us series, and you will continue to help us together seek you and thus lack no good thing. Lord, I pray that even now you would prepare my Coffee with Brenna listeners and friends to have open hearts, hearts of expectation in this Advent series, in this Advent season, Lord God. And that if, for those who are going through very trying times, that they would cling to the truths in your word, perhaps they've been given a life verse, they would cling to the truths in that verse, And that most importantly, they would cling to you and trust in you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, friends. And hey, you have a month to be praying about your word of the year for 2022. Now, you remember my word of the year for 2021 was, is, still 2021, forward. I actually did a study on it this past week, which was very eye-opening. I should have done it in January, but hey, better late than never. And I always wrap up the year and feel like I didn't get the most out of my word, but I already have my word, which is actually words for 2022. God made it very clear. I want to say I think, but I'm, it just, this two words kept coming up over and over again. So of course I will have a big reveal at the beginning of 2022. But till then, Thank you for joining me for Coffee with Brenna.